Welcome to Invictus Porsche. We've got, well, two Porsches right next to us. This is the Porsche 911 997.2. It's the Carrera 4S. And for many reasons, people consider this to be the last of the Porsche by Porsche. And right next to it, we've got the Porsche 911 991 dot two Carrera S. This is the first time that Porsche made all Porsche products uh, turbocharged except the GT3 and the GT4 or the GT3 RS, uh, well the GT3 and the GT4. Um, so let's just get into reviewing this 911 Carrera 4S and tell you a little bit more about why this is such a special car and for many reasons why you should consider buying it and why it is actually a phenomenal value for money, especially at this time of the year in December 2022. But before we can delve into this review, don't forget to press that subscribe button, gives us a thumbs up. I just wanted to say a massive thanks in advance for watching our videos because you watching our videos, we make money out of YouTube and we currently donate out all of our money to a UK registered charity that are doing uh, quite a few projects in Afghanistan. And one of those projects being water wells in Afghanistan. Here's just an example of a group of little children that have to walk circa four kilometers to a water well and back just to find a source of clean water. And we've dug a well right in their village so that they no longer have to, you know, walk that far and for that amount of time just for basic need. So thank you for being part of that good work and actually you know, spending a bit of time on our channel, watching our content, and at the same time, supporting us by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Now this 911 Carrera for us has a bit of history with us. We last sold it in um, 2021, uh, so January 2021. It's got a phenomenal spec. I mean, firstly, just the overall shape and look of it. This is the 997.2 Carrera 4S, which is finished in the basil black metallic with the 19 inch sport design alloys. So this, this contrast is beautiful. But what makes this a stunning looking car is the fact this is the 4S, the wider bodied um, 997. And as you know, the turbos and the GT3 are based on the wider body format. So. To the back of this car, it looks absolutely stunning. Now, in terms of the rest of the interior spec, this is something that we're going to discuss a little bit more in terms of um, you know, the spec, what it's like to drive that PDK transmission, hold that hydraulic steering wheel, and the fact you've got all the practicality for two plus two layout in, in a 911 product. But overall, let's just get into that driver's seat hold that steering wheel, drive it, tell you a little bit more about the sound, the feel, and above all, have I convinced you to get out there into a Porsche 911? I hope I have, so we'll find out. I love the cold start on a 911. It just gives it this hair tingling experience. Let's just move it over the slightly bit. And let's just hear what it's like as soon as the revs drop below that 1000 RPM because you're just slightly bit over that 1000 RPM. And as soon as that drops, I'll press that accelerator. Okay. So this is the usual sound after the cold start. You know, in, 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 just incredible to feel this right off the back of a turbocharged 911 991.2 Carrera S. And let's get reviewing. Now let's get behind the wheel and drive it and tell you a little bit more about what it's like, performance, handling, what it's like to drive the 4S versus the 2S, and overall, why the 997 Generation 2 is a modern classic and an absolute keeper. So the 997 Generation 2 were built around the 2008-2009 financial um, crisis, you know, the recession that we had. And not many of these were, not many of these were ever sold uh, in the first place. Uh, therefore, now, all these years later, uh, as Porsche decided to have this as the last of the Porsche 911 by 911 boxers came in, whatever they may be, by Porsche. 
uh, because they became part of the bigger, wider VAR group. Because of it, the values of these gone through the roof. Um, but that's all for a good reason, because they have quite a few things in its favor. One of them being the PDK transmission. It's got the 3.8 litre naturally uh, aspirated direct fuel injected engine. So they no longer have the kind of a concerns that people have from the first generation 997.1. And also, you've got a lot of the technology from a gearbox engine point of view, um, the same technology as the later 911, 991 uh, that were introduced in 2011, but on a slimmer, you know, narrower and, you know, not as lengthier of a car as the 991. So you've, you've got a much more nimbler and sports orientated feel to your Porsche when it comes to the 997 generation. And of course the hydraulic steering wheel. So you have a benefit of both worlds and now it brings us to the world of convertibles. What is it that I think of convertibles? Well, firstly, the 997.2 Carrera 4S, um, having it in a convertible kind of gives you a car that you can enjoy both in the summer and in the winter. Because having personally owned uh, sports cars prior to being a sports car dealer, I always opted, have, uh, I always opted to having a convertible because I wanted some, some excitement in my life, you know, you want to get out of the office, get into your car, put the soft top down and just go for a drive. And this 4S convertible definitely offers you that. It's just a very mature, progressive and understated drive. I mean, the handling is absolutely phenomenal in a Porsche. And the 911 4S, especially the second generation, takes that to a whole different level. You've got the buttons here to drop the gears if you like, if you don't want to leave it in the auto settings, or you can just simply slide the PDK transmission, the gear selector lever, and just slide it down to go from fourth down to third. Let's go second. Oh. That was a nice sound out of that tunnel. And there you go. You know, if you want a bit of engagement out of the PDK transmission, that's how you go about it. But m not many people, or I don't know a lot of customers that are going to be, you know, shifting this across into manual mode. Um, but, you know, if you need to, it is there for you. This also have the cruise control. So should you want, you know, press that button in and there you go, your cruise control is activated and it will do its own magic. Especially on the motorway, it is extremely handy. Or if you're going to be doing any European or UK wide trips and you're going to be spending a bit of time on the motorway, it's a handy feature to have. Also, this has the front heated seats, which is something that I should have activated as soon as I got into the vehicle. And lastly, you've got the sport suspension uh, package on this the PASM button by pressing that button let's just physically press that it stiffens your suspension dampers and that just gives you a much more stiffer more direct and a more driver focused ride currently from a mileage point of view this has done 62,809 miles I mean this is this has had a good life um, it's been very very well maintained this has been ceramic coated and it's had quite a lot of all the major serviceable item works you could think of such as having the spark plugs replaced for that you've got to take a big part of the exhaust system off and having all the um, exhaust system gasket seal the the clamps and the nuts and the bolts all of it replaced the pdk gearbox service done including having the pdk filter as well as having a full-on uh, major service you know thinking of whatever item that needs to be done has all been done so it's, it's, it's a well looked after 911 and in some ways they don't age, I mean the Porsches don't age like what many other cars you know, age like. From a value point of view, they hold their value extremely, extremely well. I mean pre-Covid, this is the kind of a value 
something like this was going for, or maybe slightly, slightly less. And then after COVID, there was a huge surge of demand for these cars, but they've slowly started to come back down in prices. Now in December 2022, uh, you know, somebody's going to be watching this video in 10 years time and asking themselves, I, w I wish I'd bought that 911. Uh, you know, this is retailed at 39,995. Here's a tunnel, third gear. Not much of a run into the tunnel, but just enough to kind of look forward to it. Um, so that's that's on the side of the values. Now, performance-wise, this produces 385 brake horsepower out of the six, you know, seven-speed transmission with the six-cylinder uh, Boxer engine, which is naturally aspirated with direct fuel injection. Top speed-wise, it, it has a top speed of about 183 miles per hour. Not as I expect anyone to be doing this. The 0 to 60 times are impressively quick. This does it in 4.7 seconds. Uh, this is for the 0 to 62 miles per hour. And in terms of the torque, this produces 420 newton meters of torque. I mean, this pretty much has, you know, all the comforts, all the modern day things you may want, including the fact that you've got European navigation, Bluetooth connectivity for your telephone. It has everything that you want in a sports car packaged together very neatly in that 997. So if you are looking for a 911, I think the 997.2 uh, is something one can't go wrong in. So that's that's just some of the some of the beauty of the 997.2 911. Now, from a service uh, history point of view. All of its servicing has been done at a Porsche main dealer, aside from two service stamps, which are bought at a specialist, and the last of them being done prior to the previous customer buying this vehicle. And he had, um, he had this vehicle prepped to the brim for him, you know, everything done. And when he purchased it, that, our last customer, this is the beautiful thing about Porsches, you know, they might have slightly high owners, but they're extremely well looked after. So this has been ceramic coated, which comes with a two years guarantee. Um, the roof professionally clean, you know, any paint correction, any little stone chips, etc. all of it addressed by the previous owner. And he's also had um, a, a bit of the interior also touched up and just brought to life back up again. So condition wise, one can't fault an R11 because, you know, whoever ends up owning an R11 is somebody that is understated and somebody that doesn't mind spending a bit of money and giving their 911 a bit of love. So I hope I've done this 997.2 Carrera 4S convertible a bit of justice and just wanted to say a massive thank you in advance for tagging along as part of this video to um, have me review this vehicle and it is available for the time being. I've got a few inquiries and if it's something that you're interested in don't hesitate as they say you snooze you lose now in terms of paperwork this has got a very good service history and at the same time a very good owner's history just to cover the service history of this out of six stamp four of them have been at main dealer and two of them at a specialist the last of the services have been done at a specialist where in, if we were to put that invoice in retail value, it had circa £6,000 spent on it. Major service, the gearbox transmission um, service, and alongside a lot of serviceable items were done. I mean, we sometimes forget that this age of the 911, the 997.2, uh, some, of, some of these examples are over 15 years of age. Uh, sorry, not 15, I'd say about you know 12 to 13 years uh, old. And, yeah, I mean, it's just something to realize and to notice how long they've been around for. So I'll just invite you in to just viewing the paperwork. Firstly, it's HBI Claire. There are a couple of Porsche invoices. This is, uh, in terms of the V5, this is the V5. I mean, the current owner purchased it from us, to be precise, on the 22nd of January 2022. This is when Richard, uh, Mr. Richard Homer purchased it from us. 
I've got a lovely image of him next to the AMG GTS that he um, traded the Porsche back in for a lovely person. He spent a lot of um, money onto the vehicle, having it all ceramic coated, which comes with a two years guarantee. Some little things on the inside, touched up, the roof professionally cleaned. So he's given it a lot of love and attention as you would expect on a Porsche, but overall, you know, when it comes to Porsches and if it's had, you know, a number of owners, it isn't necessarily a bad thing purely because every owner will add something good to it. They'll spend money, they'll make sure that it's been health checked and looked after and has had a bit of money spent on, whether that's brakes, discs, spars, just like we did to have it retail ready. And now on the second occasion, we don't need to spend an ounce for the next customer because it's, it's in a much better condition now, considering it's ceramic coated than when we sold it. So all the better. Thank you for watching the video. By having watched this, you're contributing to a good cause, uh, which is a charitable cause, because this is where our money goes. So each second and each minute of that time you've watched any of our content um, is, is greatly appreciated. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.